Some people call flatus breaking wind. The uncouth people call it farting. That's not me, but some people do. So let's talk about flatus. <laughs> so where does intestinal gas come from? If you have a look at this picture of someone's guts or large bowel in particular, you'll note that it's, it's hollow. And in there are a lot of bacteria which are involved with digesting the food. Now these bacteria produce gas. And really it's the bacteria producing this gas which is the main sort of substance of intestinal gas which has to be farted out. Now it's important to understand that farting flatus is normal. These bugs produce up to half a litre to a litre of gas a day. So that means you may have to have 8 to 20 farts a day to sort of just get that gas out. So normal people fart, okay? It's, if someone says to you, no, I do not break wind, tell them they're talking bullshit. Otherwise they'd blow up like a balloon. You've got to get rid of that gas, you got it? Now generally speaking, uh, flatus or breaking wind or farting doesn't smell. It's um, just low grade air being, uh, gas being expelled. But in a small percentage of them, depending on what you're eating in particular, it can be pretty high and this is tied up with the chemicals which are involved with digestion and what are produced, like hydrogen sulfides, one of them, that makes fart stinky. So. It's always also worth remembering that in the gas of, intest uh, of a fart, there's, a lot, uh, there's some methane. So in actual fact, you can light your fart. But I would strongly advise against that because you can get to the point where it can actually burn your anus if you're not careful. So generally speaking then, if breaking wind or farting is normal, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. But it does become a problem if things change. You break wind a lot more, uh, or they become intensely smelly all the time. Or if it's an association with other symptoms in your tummy, like abdominal pain, um, maybe even bleeding from your bum uh, when you pass wind. Or faecal incontinence, it's called, you know, close to the mud, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you have a fart and bloody poos spray everywhere. Maybe something's going on and it needs to be checked out by a doc. Those are the warning signs. But generally if you start to pass more wind than usual, uh, smellier than usual, it's a dietary thing. And just think about what have you been eating? You know, more cabbage, more salami, and just don't eat it and it will settle down. So, that's this week's health tip, fellas. It's embarrassing for me to talk about this stuff, but uh, it's important that you know what farting is, because look, it's your body, and if gas goes out, you wanna know where it came from and uh, where it's gone. <laughs>